Hello, welcome to Bitly's Backwards Bushcraft. This is Richard, and today I am going to make another one of these pieces of cord. And uh, as you can see, that, that's what I'm using this one for right now. Uh, I don't have a pillow right yet. Uh, mine got old and needed to be tossed out, and I, we just never been able to buy me a new one. So I take a blanket roll it up into a ball and to keep it in or into a wrap and to roll. keep it a roll and to keep it that away I decided to tie it together with that cordage that I made so that's what I use as a pillow uh, and I've decided that I'm gonna go ahead and make another cord on camera and these are obviously all different sizes, which is fantastic because you don't want them to be the same size anyways. So we're going to start with the three weave. Those are pretty close. There we go. Yeah, those aren't too bad. So what we're going to start with are... Baby, you should turn on that light so we can see you better. Okay. Okay. Well, I guess it worked. Uh... What I'm going to do to each end, though, is I'm going to uh, angle and try to shave off to make the ends a little bit smaller so that when I weave them into each other, it's not a big old huge thick. Uh, trying to weave twice the size, and let's see if I can find it here. Yeah, there's a spot right here, right there, if you can see it, where it's darker. Yeah, uh, it gets a little bit thicker because I have to weave twice the size into them. And so what I'm going to do is I'm just going to angle off the edges a little bit and hopefully that will, that will solve the problem. So let me get these edges angled a tad bit and if, if, if it works. And then I'll start the weave. I'll show you how I'm going to do it. Now, also, I am going to make a loop at this end so what I'm gonna do is when I weave it I'm gonna leave it extra at the end and then this is gonna get angled into and over like this and then I'll take the three weave and I'll actually weave it over that so that when it's all said and done they will be a loop right here now I need to go into get some of that uh, oh that really thin thread that I made the uh, Your ghillie, ghillie suit out of. What's that stuff? I, we just call it embroidery. Thread. Embroidery thread. Okay, I'm gonna get some of that because I want to tie. I want to tie this loop so that it's not three individual pieces. It's it's one piece when I get it all bound together. So I'm gonna go grab some of that and I'll get right back with you. Okay, so I just grabbed a random collar, uh, some kind of olive green type color it's uh, 511 is the number on it I don't know I'm not sure what the brand is either but anyway there's the tube that it one of the tubes that's in it so all I'm really gonna do at this point is I'm just gonna take this piece of string here and I am going to bind <clears throat> Let's see here, let's get several inches here so that I can loop this over. And I'll start binding about yay much together to create uh, so that it'll be bound together. And <clears throat> we'll simply do that. So all I'm going to do here is just wrap a little bit here, just like so. And I'm just going to keep wrapping this for an extended amount of distance and I'll, I'll probably spend another five or ten minutes or so wrapping this because I want it to be decent and I want it to be far enough so that it's going to be like this probably yeah probably about yay much right here when I get that done I'll get right back with you Okay, so 
I've got it tied up and I've got these slightly angled downward so there's a little less uh, thickness to them and this is going to just bend over like so and I think that should be big enough right there at least I hope it will be and I am just going to weave these three so that it creates a nice and tight let's get to the third one there we go there we are make sure those stay in there there we go okay so I've got it pretty well taken care of it's going to be decently enough to hold it. Here's the loop. Uh, we'll have to snip off these little pieces here like this uh, eventually. But now that we're down to the basic size of the cordage here. So we have one in the left hand, we want to have it in the middle, and then we have one in the right hand. So basically what we're going to do is, let's get, there we go. It starts, you can start it either direction. I start on the left hand, hit left hand side. So I take the left hand side, wrap it through the middle, and then the left becomes the middle, and then the right side wraps around the middle, which just continuously left over middle, right over middle. And I twist it as I do that, give it a little twist each time, and uh, it can be painful on the hands, especially when you know you're you get tired. It makes your fingers and stuff get kind of tight, and you have to take breaks. But this is something you want to do when you're sitting at camp in middle of the night, and you don't have anything else to do, or or you know you have people sitting at camp who can't go out hunting and gathering things of that nature. Their job would be sit here and do this weaving. Now, uh, a lot of people consider weaving to be a tedious necessity. I find it relaxing and um, quite entertaining. So eventually, you start getting a weave like this, and it just continues and continues and continues. And once you get down here to the end, and they should be generally different sizes because you don't want to add, uh, you don't want to add three different pieces at the same spot. You want to add them in different spots. So when I get down to where I'm going to add one, I'll show you how we're going to do that. Alrighty, so let's find the, there we go. So I kind of stripped off a little bit on both sides. And basically I'm just going to put them together like this. And then they're going to sit together overlapping slightly. And then when I wrap, I should be able to, let me get one more wrap in there. Yeah. No ninja wraps. No, no, no. So we're going to overlap there. We'll twist this. Michelle's over there trying to <laughs> trying to do her, uh, oh, what was his name? Vanilla Ice. Vanilla Ice. She yeah, Rob Van Winkle. Pulling her Rob Van Winkle over there. All right. And there we go. So then those wrap up right into the next piece and as I said before we'll make sure that these are all three different sizes so that we don't wrap more than one piece together at a time and then it just wraps right in there all together and we just continue to do that and make it as long as we want <clears throat> the last one I made one, this one right here is uh, three pieces of three, so there's nine of them involved with it. I've got <clears throat> three weave, and I do three three lengths. So uh, I'll just continue to do this until I get bored or decide I want to not make it. You know, whatever. <clears throat> Probably three, so it'll be even with this one. So I can I'll undo this one. And leave it on one side and then make another one for the other side because this is just actually one piece so we'll continue to do that there that's that's the weaving process that's how to weave into 
and also make a loop at the end so that when I get decide to get done I can run my cordage through this and then pull it and it makes a nice little loop to tie things on so alrighty so I've got it considerably long and I want to have a little bit of a dangle here at the end so I'm going to go ahead and knot it up and make sure that one gets whoops does it go this way there we go well, let's find it there it is okay go in this way there we go get that knotted up so that it doesn't come unwound tighten that up there we go there's a good knot right there to keep it together and then we have this little dangle and I end up cutting cutting these even but now we have another three weave and this time this one has a nice little uh, loop on the end of it which is an improvement on this one let's see here to some degree I say it's an improvement let's see um, yep they're just a tad bit difference in in size just a few inches and that's just because these cordage this cordage is not uniformed <clears throat> so what we do is we take my roll I take a regular blanket roll it up I'm gonna put it around there I'm gonna run it through my loop let's find the end of it here See if that knot will fit through that loop. There we go. Barely. Just like such. And just tighten it down a little bit. There we go. And it tends to latch onto itself and keep tight. So that's pretty decent. Just wrap this around a couple times just to get rid of the excess. There we go. And we'll just shove that under there. Bingo, bango. And we got one side on. And we do the same thing with the other side. Now, if I was using this to carry, uh, I could make a make a same way on here. Hold on a second. Let's just basically get a little kind of knot in here. There we go. Tighten that up. If I was going to carry it, I could tighten this side up to the same thing like that and have it like this here. And I could either hold it like this, I could have it on my back and hold it up with my head like this, carry it however I wanted to. But for now, all I'm going to do is just wrap it together like this. And then I've got myself a pillow. This is what I lay on at night when I sleep. Like this here. And I have it out here because I don't sit. I don't sit anywhere. I don't like to sit. Uh, I'm either standing or I'm laying down. That's, that's my two positions that I enjoy. I don't really like to sit like normal people do. I don't know. So anyway, uh, there we go. We have, uh, we just made another piece of... Uh, cordage nice little three three piece of cordage wrap that right now I'm using to hold my pillow together and uh, who knows what we're going to use with them later so thank you guys for watching Bentley's Backwards Bushcraft and enjoy the outdoors even, even if, it's if it's your, your own, own back. backyard that's right or living room couch or living thinking. room couch I guess in this yeah in this sense we're going to add to this video a little bit uh, unexpectedly so here's my my pillow so basically what I'm doing is Hold on. Fix my dress. <clears throat> you know that's not going to stay your pillow forever. Right? No, no, it's, it's going to. No, I'm, it's not. I'm that's my Mickey blanket. Oh, no, sir, it is not. Okay, I lay my head on it like this. This is this is how I really use this pillow. Isn't this how I use my pillow? Yes, baby, but it's okay. not staying your pillow forever. Okay, anyway, I'm going to find a blanket that can be, be mine because I'm going to take these cords off and... I'm going to use my favorite kit, which is my sewing kit, and I am going to use some of this really nice suede leather. 
and I'm going to make, oh, I love the smell of this stuff. I am going to make a pillowcase, and I'm going to sew a blanket into this and make a permanent pillow for myself. And then I can lay my head on this with something similar, apparently not this, but something similar like this in it. So it would be... like that. And then I can use it as, oh, that's such a good idea. And it's crafty. And it's outdoorsy. And it's you outdoorsy. You can use the gray blanket that's in there, but you cannot have that. No. As you wish. 